año nuevo, vida nueva, cuerpo nuevo. Y bueno, no crean que me dejó un nuevo oficio, ¿verdad? Que ahora trabajo en vulcanizadoras. No, 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 no. Yo no cambio las llantas. Es más, no sé ni cómo se pone el gato. Sí, eh, pero sí sé cómo se van a eliminar estas llantitas que nos dejó el año viejo. Porque estoy justo aquí en el gimnasio donde ando buscando a Domingo y a Eddie. Es aquí en CrossFit West Houston, en donde ellos toda la vida me andan acarreando para que, ah, por ese cómplice que tenemos que ir al gimnasio. Y yo, ajá. Comencé a pensar que era así como que un pretexto nomás porque no quería seguir trabajando, pero no, los resultados han sido evidentes. Pero además, CrossFit es una disciplina que da no solamente resultados rápidos, sino también te puede cambiar la vida y levantar esa autoestima. Así que hoy vamos a conocer más de esta disciplina, de esta manera de bajar peso, pero también de recuperar la autoestima y vivir una nueva vida porque estamos de estrenón. Estamos estrenando el año 2018 y la cómplice le dice adiós a las llantas. Ay, bueno, cómplice, los dejo. ¡Ah! ¡Comenzamos! Año nuevo, vida nueva, disciplina nueva, hay que quemar esas calorías, caramba, de tanta comedera. Bueno, estamos justo en uno de los gimnasios que da resultados casi inmediatos y tenemos el testimonio, no, 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 pero de todo esto se van a enterar. Estamos justo en esos momentos con el dueño de este gimnasio de CrossFit, quien es Rob Exline. Hi. Hi. Thank you to having us. Thanks for coming. Well, it's time to you tell us how we can do CrossFit. But really, what is CrossFit? What is CrossFit? Um, CrossFit is just basically a um, general physical preparedness program where we we do all kinds of stuff. We use mm -hmm. um, your own body weight. We use weights. We use barbells, dumbbells, kettlebells. What is uh, that? <laughs> These this are, is like a meatball. Uh, like those are Atlas stones. They're um, they're cement balls. We like to cement, cement balls. Yeah. What you doing with these? Yeah, we pick them up. We take them to our shoulders. It's a very functional type of movement. Are you so, kidding me? Nope, not at all. Oh. You might want to try one a little lighter. Come on. <laughs> okay. Really? And now? Yeah. Then try to get it to your shoulder. <laughs> Esta está más pesada que la chilta cuando tenía 12 meses. No llegó a las 8, ¿verdad? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. This is. It's very functional, though. Heavy. Very functional, yeah. I mean, you might have to pick something up like that. And, I mean, and, and with that, what do you wear? All your body? Is the, like... Your whole body. Um, okay, show first... me. Show me because, <laughs> yeah, I'm a terrible example yeah. for everybody. Uh, no worries. Okay. Let's see here. We'll take this one. Let's, uh, that bring... one? Yeah, we'll take this one. But you don't have muscles in a, you know, no? Uh, maybe a few, maybe a few. I so, don't see it with that. <laughs> so you're gonna get it underneath it here. One, two. Get it to here. Oh, that is the way. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, and you protect your back and everything mm -hmm. like that. Okay, cruise feet is is really amazing. Uh, And I say that because I work out for a long time. Mm -hmm. But the first time I tried CrossFit, I quit. <laughs> I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm very honest with you. Mm -hmm. I'm very honest. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's, it's really, it's, it's, you go out for your, your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't know why it's so difficult. If you work out for a long time, how you cannot do CrossFit? Mm -hmm. Why make a CrossFit unique and uh, really it's, I don't want to say complicated, but it's, uh, it's really, it's not easy to do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think what happens is people get, like you said, kind of in their comfort zone. And when you go to kind of normal gyms, there's a lot of comfortable sort of looking equipment. You can kind of sit down and do a lot of stuff or you're on a, um, on a machine kind of doing some things like that. Most people just haven't pushed past what they consider to be, um, comfortable right and um so we try to with a coach we try to kind of push people along to kind of get past that that uh 
let's say cliff that they would never get to, right? I like to say if you kind of get to a cliff and you're like, I can not get to that, I'm never going to get there. But then we kind of gradually push you along to where you're getting closer and closer to that cliff and then the cliff just gets further away and you're adding, adding more mental toughness, um, fitness. Uh, we try to keep it interesting too. For how long to, uh, you can, you know, in the be can stay in the beginning, mm -hmm. in the beginner uh, group, and for how long do you need to uh, wait until you see the results? Um, typically, it takes most people about six to 12 weeks to kind of start to see something. I mean, they'll six see to 12? Yeah, well, they'll see, they'll start to see certain things start to happen. Like they'll, what? Like, they'll start to see that um, their stamina will get a little bit better. That's kind of one of the first things that'll happen. Uh, depending on where they're coming from, um, you know, they'll start to see some pretty immediate strength gains um, within about six weeks. You, it's just your body needs to adapt, and it takes a little while for that to adapt. So when you give it a new stimulus. And you need to make the decisions, complete because this is not, any exercise is easy, okay? Mm -hmm. But everything is in your mind. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when you think, oh, I have pain in my knee, I have pain in my, you know, in my shoulders, that is our excuses, okay? Mm -hmm. How you can avoid those excuses and how CrossFit helped you to have a better and healthy life. Okay. Um, so, you know, it's kind of a, um, there's a kind of a mindset type of thing. And we like to try to have a growth mindset. So where, you know, instead of saying like, oh, this, this hurts or I can't do that or, or I, you know, this is difficult. And we say things like, well, you know, I can, I can't do this now, but in the next few months I can do that or in the next few weeks I can do that. Maybe, you know, that way we kind of think about it as I can grow into that rather than just stay stuck where I am. So we try to kind of encourage people to be growth minded. Our, one of our things is constantly varied functional movement. So, you know, where people do get into like the traditional kind of bodybuilding, so mm -hmm. to speak, is that people will have a, a leg day, an arm day, a chest day, a back day or chest and arms, back and arms, um, buys and tries, that kind of thing. But, uh, you know, we, we treat the body as one unit and we'll pretty much do the whole total body almost daily, mm -hmm. but in different ways with different stimulus. Okay. Uh, give me a tour for okay. your gym. Okay. So this is just a, this is kind of a spare room here where we keep some equipment. Um, we have this turf here that allows us to do some more athletic type of training. Uh, where we can train athletes and we can do things like sled pushes and pulls. Ladies, yep, just how you like do that. This? Yeah, just like that. Just drive your legs. Drive, drive. Take big steps forward. Drive, drive, drive. Just like that. <laughs> this is cool. It's fun, right? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you can feel it in your caboose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For sure. For sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, uh -huh. So, yeah, so we use this room as kind of private training. I do some private training in here. We store some extra equipment in here. The main room's right next door. Um, you know, okay. we do have a uh, strongman type of equipment, the, the sleds and the stones and the kegs, they're all weighted. It's a, uh, it's, we call it strongman. The so, worker. <laughs> or strong woman. 2000. It's not like yeah, that. It's probably not good to play. It's not like that. I tried to help you. <laughs> okay, Messi. <Yeah. laughs> With that training, awesome. I will kill you <laughs> on the field. Okay. And then now. Uh, and then this room here this is kind of our main workout area. Okay. Uh, so we have a, a rig over there where we do pull-ups. Does do she have a baby? Ups. She's holding a baby? Yeah, yeah. She, she just said... had a baby in, in October. She's one of our coaches. She just had come a baby on, in October. Come on, come on. You need to see this. Okay, no excuses. Remember about it? Okay, no excuses. Hey, hi. Sorry. I know. I know you're working hard. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. How old? months and mom is working hard okay <laughs> you're a personal trainer yes and you can you you do it right now the crossfit too or you training too um i do a very modified version of crossfit okay uh, it's called birthday okay. oh but they cannot hear anything okay right now <laughs> yeah you, you say what i said i do a very modified version of crossfit um so it's actually called birth fit and it just helps me with the postpartum side of having a baby and properly rehabbing before jumping straight back into doing full-on CrossFit. And you feel better, obvious. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, it's still a process. I'm easing back into it. But. Okay. After two months, mommies can come back and work out. They can start, start, yeah, yeah. 
slowly, yeah, but consistent. Yes. Okay. Entendieron? Eh, tiene dos meses el bebé. La, acaba ella de tener un bebé y ya está dando clases, ya está entrenando, pero además ella también está entrenando. Thank you so much. I don't want to interrupt you. Go, go, girl. Go, go, go. That is the attitude. I'm the trainer. <laughs> no. Ah, y, y mire nada más. Ella está entrenando, dice, poco a poco, pero de manera constante, siendo constante, va, va a poder uno también irse recuperando y te ayuda a la recuperación del de posparto. This is amazing. I love it. Oh, thank you. I love it. Okay. Uh, now, okay. We are... In the main room. Okay. This is where we have uh, our main classes, and you know, every we we like a big open area because we like to do he's a bunch praying. of stuff. <laughs> he's stretching. He's oh. working on his mobility. So. Oh, I thought that they pray before. <laughs> no, no, no. But, uh, I think some people do, but uh, but I think he, 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 might be, he might be doing a little bit of both. Okay. No, no, no. I'm is that, is that right, Brandon? Are you praying? Or are you? Uh, are you <laughs> Are you doing some mobility? <laughs> Pray for us, please. <laughs> yeah. Okay, stretching. It's a, a little bit of both. A little bit of both. It's stretching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Well, he's just working on getting getting some mobility there so we can get some things overhead. For yeah. sure, Altuve, keep doing something like that, you know, after yeah. he well, plays we, so hard. We like to... Um, We like to make sure people can move well, and so mm -hmm. we do things to get them to move well by doing some mobility stuff, like Brendan's doing. Brendan does a really good job of working on some extra mobility just to kind of get to where they can get into some better positions with uh, some of the stuff that we like to do. Good, and okay. Aquí se están estirando. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aquí hacen, this is abs. Uh, actually, we do, uh, we do a lot of stuff with those. We do bench oh, presses. You could do that with them, but we, we do them because we have the rack over here, so we do bench press and oh. and uh, we we do some other stuff with those benches. You have a lot of equipment. Really, we this do. gym is very complete. It's very yeah. complete. Okay, uh, this is CrossFit gym. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is, you can say, okay, well, yeah, it looks like a regular gym. No, because they don't have machines. They have tools and weights, and they play with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah. also uh, also you, you play with your body uh, weight too. Mm -hmm. So like push-ups, pull-ups, um, air squats, uh, we call them air squats, any non-weighted squats, so body weight squat, uh, lunges without weight, um, burpees, which uh, nobody likes, uh, but mm -hmm. we also see the rings hanging down from there, mm -hmm. we'll do, uh, uh, so we call body weight stuff gymnastics, basically controlling your own body weight, and so we use gymnastics rings, some people can do what they call a muscle up, so mm -hmm. they'll do from a hanging and getting overhead and doing a um, doing a dip. Um, we also like to do, we do lots of pull-ups. Um, pull-ups we love. So. Ooh, I don't like that one. <laughs> I love pull-ups. But... Stay with us. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Don't go anywhere because we will back y vamos a conocer todavía más de CrossFit. Año nuevo, vida nueva, disciplina nueva para bajar esas libritas de más. Ya regresamos. Bueno, Santa Claus este año llega bien motorizado. Ajá, olvídense, ya no trae renos. Ahora trae tremenda troca Santa Claus de Beckham Master South Buick GMC. Porque le han pedido tantas cosas y además dijo, voy para Houston, no va a ser que me agarre agua. Entonces se eh, sube en una GMC. Y usted también hágalo cómplice. Si tiene la oportunidad de renovar ese auto, que ya tiene muchos, ya tiene un millaje bastante elevado, que ya le está dando problemas de mecánica. Entonces mejor cámbielo, cámbielo por uno nuevo o por uno usado de Beckham Master Audio GMC. En Beckham Master Audio GMC no solamente va a encontrar los modelos de GMC o de Buick, también va a poder encontrar inclusive hasta de otras marcas como Mustang, como Chevrolet. Así que lo único que tiene que hacer es ponerse en contacto con ellos o ir directamente a su página de internet www.beckermastersound.com y ahí va a poder encontrar el gran inventario que tienen. Recuerden, están en el 45 Sur, salida Pucua. Pregunta por Jorge o por, pregunta por Manny. Y si vas a salir a carretera, yo te recomiendo que vayas con Manny para que le den la inspección de multipuntos a tu auto antes de salir a carretera con la familia. 
para todos ustedes a pasar estas fiestas de manera segura, manejando con precaución y si toma, no maneje. Y allá los veo en Beckham Master Saudio en GMC. La venta de otoño de Beckham Master en Vivo en GMC está sucediendo ahora. Con los pagos hasta el 2018 en más de 2,000 vehículos nuevos. Compra una nueva 2017 Sierra 1500, Yukon o Enclave. Con 12,000 de descuentos del MSRP. Así es, 12,000. Además, cero de enganche, 0% por 72 meses y cero pagos hasta el 2018. Eh, claro, ya sé. Ay, espejito, espejito, dime quién es la más bonita. Bueno, si no voy con el doctor Herman Newell, olvídense, no va a haber respuesta del espejo o prefiero que el espejo no conteste. Pero cuando voy con el doctor Herman Newell, miren, tengo toda la confianza del mundo de lucir hasta sin maquillaje. Porque el doctor Germán Newell es justo el cirujano plástico de tu cómplice Adriana. De por años, más de 10 años viendo con mi doctor Germán Newell, mi fuente de la juventud como yo le llamo. Así que si durante estas fiestas quieres lucir divina, te puedes hacer el, el mami makeover en donde te hacen la infusión, la el aumento de senos y el mantenimiento que uno se tiene que dar, obviamente, que es el botox. Para que esas líneas de expresión, porque como no soy nada expresiva, ¿verdad? Todo se arruga. Entonces esas líneas de expresión quedan con un matiz muy natural. Porque no es, estás en cualquier mano. Cómplice, cuando te pongas botox, es importante que sea con un profesional. Así como cuando hay chicas que se quieren aumentar los glúteos, también vayan con un profesional. Porque les puede inyectar cualquier otra cosa. Con el doctor Herman Newell que es un doctor certificado y que además reconocido internacionalmente, inclusive justo por el Mami Makeover, ha recibido premios en Europa. Así que estamos aquí en Houston, estamos aquí en la casa del doctor Germán Newell. Ve, llámale ya o consulta en su página web que está apareciendo en pantalla y haz tu cita. Y por ahí nos vemos, porque la cómplice ya va por su voto. Ay, sí, y por los fillers y por... Todo lo que me deje el doctor, porque uh, uh, él no me deja que yo me haga todo, ¿eh? Él solamente me dice y me deja hacer lo que yo necesite. Esa es la gran confianza que yo le tengo a mi doctor, Herman Newell. Adriana en complicidad. Bueno, ni crean que estoy haciendo yo ejercicio todavía, todavía me estoy escapando. Rob, it's amazing. It's amazing the change I see in Domingo. Uh -huh. CrossFit te da resultados rápidos, pero también se requiere de sacrificio y de muchísima disciplina. Y hoy quiero presentarles un testimonio claro y completamente visible de lo que CrossFit puede hacer por tu vida. And now, the testimony is here. ¡Tarán! ¡Domingo anda! It's unbelievable how CrossFit changed his life. Two years ago, remember the pictures I sent to uh, send you? It's like, amazing. It's another person. It's another person. But also, you you are not usually uh, doing uh, some exercise before CrossFit, yes? Uh, bueno, usualmente, bueno, los cómplices nos vieron en el programa hace dos años mm -hmm. cuando empezamos y obviamente los, los, los cambios han sido yo igual que tú hacía ejercicio en otros lados pero si haces ejercicio entonces eh, no tanto o sea de repente no hacía vean las fotos he's he, yeah he's yeah. Really like a, oh no yeah I worked out before I mean, like, 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 that is the gym stop by the gym where you pay a membership and you never go you know that's esas son el tipo de cosas okay, que... Okay, that means he, he don't exercise before crossfit okay actually when I was here <laughs> Yo no sabía ni lo que era CrossFit. I didn't even know what CrossFit was or how it worked. All I know was like, like everybody was doing CrossFit and there was so like, everybody was like talking about results and how uh -huh. hard it was. But I never, never, never like knew what CrossFit was. Okay, work. in what moment you decide to be part for this group and really why CrossFit? You know, Eddie, which is behind cameras, he, uh -huh. he me and him were talking about like doing something. Because I was so overweight. I mean, like, you remember? Yeah. I mean, look at him. Actually, look at him before. Okay. I'm actually, people's actually seeing right now how uh -huh. I was before. You know, like, están viendo imágenes de cómo estaba yo. Estábamos recibiendo, vamos a hacer algo. Y entonces, somebody talked to us about CrossFit and, like, but, like, you never, like, But you, you already know him, no? I never met Rob before. So, they go, like, I'm going to search for Chin Chin. And we're working on a, on a project for, uh, like, a reality show. 
which is in the work right now. And Eddie goes like, we should, we should record that. Let me contact some teams and, mm -hmm. and see if anybody responds and, and we do it. So Rob and Sandra, which is uh, Rob's wife, they, they responded. And we came for a test. And I wanted to and like, you fail. not come back. How was that test, Rob? Well, the, so what they did was we, what we called a baseline. And we actually cut it in half for them. because, mm -hmm. uh, And it was a 250 meter row. A uh, 20 air squats, 15 sit ups, 10 push ups, and 5 pull ups. Holy moly, that is it. Okay, really? It, that is that, a test? That was actually the test is actually twice that. And so for these guys, we kind of we, we, we oh. cut it in half to scale it for them. And it was, uh, it was uh, difficult for them. Very difficult. Very I difficult. was weighing 316 pounds. No way. I was weighing 316 pounds at the time. ¿Qué güey? ¿En qué momento te dejaste subir tanto? <laughs> <laughs> Entonces, eh, venimos, hacemos el, 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 el examen, ¿no? Uh -huh. Y bueno, one of the things that Eddie was like, he even, he threw up, like, he vomited. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you just, just saw me that. about it. Uh, so, yeah? I mean, the first I, day. Thursday. Yeah, I mean, we were not used to that. This kind of moment. Maybe. Kind of was it Hanover or what? <laughs> no? It was too tough. It was too tough. Yeah. Okay. The first day was hard. Uh. So, first day, first weeks, first months, I mean, they're hard. So, the more you see this, they were like, yeah, at one point, you just, you know, you're just thinking like, oh, I should not go back. You know, it's just like so much. It's unbelievable, really. It's amazing yeah, that they uh, change. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. At CrossFit World, lo que ha hecho CrossFit para mí es que ha cambiado mi mentalidad. You know, CrossFit has changed. It doesn't change like just physically, but it changes your mentality, it changes the way you play, the way you eat, the discipline. Now, I mean, you know, can tell you, I don't miss any day a week. I'm here five days. I mean, you can actually say because I'm out of the studio, yeah. like, you know, I'm running out. I'm yeah. here yes. for five because I'm going to CrossFit. I'm out of five. What do you think uh, you start to have the, that uh, discipline with CrossFit? What do you think is really uh, the, the, the more attractive for, for you to continue? Because it's no hard start. It's everybody, it's New Year. Okay, okay, I will start my new day. When you work out and routine and whatever, but it's easy to stop and then continue and, yeah. uh, okay, to okay it's tomorrow, the excuses. How do you yeah. keep it? I mean, the passion for CrossFit. I talk to him sometimes and I tell him, like, I don't even know when things happen you know once you know you're there you know you're mm -hmm. uh lifting more weight you're moving faster and i think that's the way you feel it, like you don't even notice the time that you start feeling different that you start needing to be exercise you know the body gets used to the exercise so there's no way you can miss it anymore and that, that's the feeling no te das cuenta cómo vas evolucionando, mm -hmm. cómo vas creciendo y, de, y cómo ya no quieres eh, dejarlo. You don't, you don't want to leave it because it's part of your life now and that's what profit it's done for me, you know, it, it's part of my life now. What do you, that's what, like the magic. And, and, what do you think is really the magic and what do you really you think is a, a, like a, you are a trainer, okay, and you push in to they Say that attractive for the, the CrossFit or they they engage with the CrossFit. How do um, you work with that? Because it's it's hard. It's, you know, well, something. Oh. It's hard, but we try to we, we what we try to do here is we try to get people to go at their level right now, and then we just keep giving them a little bit more, pushing them a little bit a little bit harder to their level, and then go and then eventually start going a little bit past it. And I think the thing that that really there's two things I think that were really key for Domingo is uh, one consistency, like you said, he's here five days a week. I mean, he's consistent, and it's been like that since they were here. But he was not started. before. What's that? He was not before. Well, but what, I think there's, a, well, there's, a community. there's a community here, too. So that's mm -hmm. like when you go to a, a regular gym, like a 24-hour fitness, you're, you're there by yourself. Everybody has mm -hmm. their earphones on, and they're kind of in their own little world over here. You've got people that are here, people that are working out with you, and if, uh, are, you become friends with them. One, you want to come and see them. Uh, two, you want to come be with them. There's a lot of camaraderie in it. Um, so it, I think it helps you stay more consistent because you get to come and see some people. Okay. And the other thing is he made a, a big nutrition change. He started eating better. You did him? 
How? We started. We started with a. Okay, the training is one on one, or, or, or is it group no, training? We, we actually, what we did, and I think the thing that kind of we had talked to them individually about it, but we did a uh, no sugar challenge, where he cut sugar out, and then I think that's when you started to see the big results for sure. Yes. Are you kidding me? How you take the sugar out? I saw him having a cake in at the studio, <laughs> and uh, he's cheating. He's uh, cheating. No, well, that's he, not no, true. he's learning to control. No, right? it's not true. He put honey in his oatmeal he and put honey. honey put yeah, we run out for honey. They go, yeah, honey, because he's the one put honey in everything. Y como Rob está diciendo, la comunidad aquí es gran parte de 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 yo no quiero seguir, bro. Ofrecen diferentes clases en Father Morning, Six, yeah, 7, 9, uh -huh. pero la cosa es que a la hora que venga siempre, siempre hay alguien que conoce, si no, every time we come to class, if it's 9.30, if it's 4.30, 6.30, there's always uh, the, someone we know and that have, we, we have worked with, so that's what the community is about, you know, people keep pushing you and help you like move. Okay, and it's not a specific time, it's at the time you can, mm -hmm. yeah, when, yeah, that we, works. Yeah, we, know? yeah, I mean. People have lives, so yeah. we, we want it to be open for them. We, you know, they can come at whatever time that works for them, um, as long as it's within our schedule. And, and um, yeah, we don't we don't want to make people set that hey, you have to work out mm -hmm. these days. We want you to come when you can, but we, we want you to come. And typically, if people aren't coming, then we we call them and, or email them and say, hey, where you been? We want them. We want them to come. Which one uh, will be the more accomplishment for you, eh, Domingo? ¿Qué fue, eh, ¿Cuál ha sido la, el, el mayor eh, acierto, triunfo que es, has tenido en esta disciplina del CrossFit? Uh, yo creo que el evolucionar. You know, because, like I was saying, we don't even notice when we're reaching different goals, different levels. And I think that, I think that has been the most, uh, that what I really, really liked about CrossFit. You know? You don't get there. You're always moving forward, and you're like right, like uh, CrossFit was Houston. They said, "Evolve to your stronger self." Every time you're evolving to your strongest, you're never there. You're always evolving. So I think that's what it's captivated me to be here and stay here. It's 18 months now. 18 months. I'm so proud of you. Thank Let's you. go and celebrate with tacos. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 tacos is not that. Tortilla yeah, is delicious. <laughs> but yeah, it's delicious. This is my problem right here. <laughs> tortilla. So, really, I really, like I say, I never recommend stuff unless I know it works. And I think CrossFit has worked and CrossFit was used to have done such a amazing job. Bro, here has. So he has given us the opportunity to be somebody different, you know, to not only physically, but like. Like entire ourselves different, and that's what I really think. First, it was Houston, and yeah. it's like, and that's why I really recommend going to first Houston. It's because exercise is not only to lose weight, because that is the easy, and we lose your, uh, your discipline with exercise because because of that. It's really when you start, like I just say, uh, your life will start to change. You will feel more energy, and also you feel more positive. Because all the stress, you take it out, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, but the more important here is you can see right now the results, and that it's is it so important because some people uh, they don't make the decisions to do it because they're scared. And if you are in that position, it's time to move, and it's time to move, and it's time to take your life back because exercise can help you. We will continue in this special, cruise fit special. Don't think about, oh yeah, we only talk. No, 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 no. We will work out and really, I'm a little scared because to me, cruise fit, my respect. It's like the tequila. No way. ¿Quién? For you. ¿Quién? Está guapo. <laughs> no, I'm really scared. I try one time and I quit that time and I back to my regular gym, but no. Today, you will see the difference. Continue with Senator and Complicida Show.
estoy fascinada con tantos productos Goya en su supermercado. Lo va a poder encontrar también en las diferentes tiendas y tiene que ir directamente por la leche de coco Goya y la crema de coco Goya. Sí, porque en este mes justo Goya está regalando y sí donando cuatro onzas de comida por cada lata tanto de leche de coco como de crema de coco que usted compre. O sea que si usted compra una lata, Goya regala cuatro onzas de comida al Food Bank. Sí, es Goya. Goya nos da siempre de más. Goya Gives. Durante todo el año funciona con diferentes productos, pero ahora justo con estos dos productos que tanto vamos a necesitar para poder cocinar y preparar esos platillos especiales, porque con tantas fiestas que tenemos y mucha familia y amigos que hay que recibir, tenemos que garantizar que el sazón nos va a quedar bien Goya, porque si es Goya, tiene que ser bueno. Es una delicia tener familia, y en el caldero el arroz canilla, es el arroz que crece y crece así, el fabuloso extra largo canilla. Qué belleza de arroz es el canilla, de granos enteros y bien Falta el arroz. Arroz canilla y golden canilla, distribuidos por Goya. Si quieres viajar y conocer mi México, tienes que viajar por Aeroméxico, que con el Aeropass es algo sensacional. Acumulas, mira, millas, esas millas te van a poder ayudar para pagar futuros boletos. Pero además, este Aeropass está perfectamente diseñado para todos aquellos que son empresarios y que por razones de trabajo también tienes que estar viajando constantemente. De esa manera, todas tus millas que vayas acumulando las puedes compartir con tu familia. Ese es uno de los puntos. Otro, recibes tremendo descuento en tarifas de hasta el 25% de descuento. Otro punto importante por cual y conveniente por tener Aeropass es tan simple. Te dan prioridad en reservaciones. Así que, ¿qué estás esperando, cómplice? Únase a la familia de Aeroméxico. Me encanta viajar por Aeroméxico porque además no solamente es una de las aerolíneas principales en nuestro México lindo y querido, sino que también es una aerolínea internacional y con su alianza con Delta puedes llegar a otros destinos como Europa e inclusive Centroamérica y Latinoamérica. Así que a viajar con clase, a viajar con Aeroméxico. Y recuerda que si quieres conocer México, tienes que viajar por Aeroméxico, porque Aeroméxico es México. get started here uh, we're gonna go through what we have a whole bunch of stuff here we're gonna go through two rounds we're gonna come on over here to the board and we'll explain it all right so we're gonna have an eight minute clock okay so we're going to spend a minute on each of these things right and I'll say kind of uh, rotate or say the movement when it's time to switch I'll watch the clock for y'all We're going to start out with those air squats, right? So that's going to be feet shoulder width apart, toes forward, keeping the chest up, sitting back into that squat, and then standing tall, okay? So we're going to do that for a minute. You don't have to move the whole minute. If you have to take a little break here and there, that's fine. But we're going to try to get as many reps as you can in that minute, right? Then we're going to switch to the push-ups. So on those push-ups, you're going to have your hands underneath your shoulders. You're going to keep yourself in a nice straight plank. Bringing your chest all the way to the ground and then all the way up. Okay, if we need to modify, uh, let's come on over here real quick. I'll show you the modification for that. Uh, instead of going from the knees, we just have a bar here set up, hands shoulder width. You're going to be up on your toes. You're going to keep those elbows in, bring that chest and push away. 
All right? We can move that up and down if we need to. The lower it is, the harder it is, the more, the closer it is to a push-up, all right? From there, we're gonna go to box jumps, all right? So you'd have a box of some sort. Ideally, it's 20 for everybody. So you're gonna jump up, land, stand tall on the box, step down. You can also step up, stand tall, all right? It's the same work just a different intensity, okay? That sound good? You're gonna try to jump on that box? <laughs> you can, you don't have to jump up. If, it can be kind of scary, it can be kind of scary. All right, from there, we'll be coming to the rack and doing pull-ups, all right? You could do strict pull-ups if you wanted to, all right? Or you can do kipping pull-ups. All right, and if you don't have pull-ups, then we can do ring rows, right? Getting into kind of a tough position, keeping the shoulders, pulling yourself up to the rings, keeping some tension, but try and keep your body in a nice straight line. All right, um, Paul, can I borrow you? All right, because I've, I've got a little microphone thing going on. Um, so next thing is going to be these deck squats, okay? So you'd set up just like a regular squat. You're gonna come down, sit down, roll back, try and get some speed, come up to come up to standing, right? You need to try to overspeed that a little bit, right? So if he gets a little more aggressive here, he can come up, right? Now, if you need some assistance with that, actually if we give him an object, right? Like a 10 pound plate, probably make that just a little bit easier. And we can also elevate it. So you're gonna hold that and as you come up, reach out. You see how it's a little easier for him? Because it kind of helps him <laughs> counterbalance, right? So uh, so one of the things that we might have to do. Right there. Right? Hey. A little more. Okay. Here? Yeah. All right. Let's try this. Let's keep your elbows in tight. Right now you're coming out here. Keep the elbows in tight. And oh, you have to okay. Kind of throw it this way, right? So right uh -huh. now you're kind of throwing it straight up. So you want to kind of. I'm terrible. Give it a little bit more. No coordino. No coordino, complices. No, that's all right. You're all right. No Everybody start somewhere. Right. Yeah. There it is. See the difference? Hey. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Huh, I'm done. <laughs> no. You're, you are done with your workout. Okay. okay. How many? All right. No, we're going to just leave that here. We're going to come to that here in a second. Okay. okay. We'll probably have you, uh, what? Everybody yes, everybody should be using that 20, mostly. All right. So you're going to do your okay, push-ups over here. Uh-huh. Okay. Just have you come over here and do your push-ups, right, on this thing. Okay. How yeah. I can do these? Yeah, right there. Like these? Yeah. And then just try and bring your chest to the bar. Yep, yeah. and press up. So instead of going out like this, I want okay. you to try to keep your elbows in tight. Yeah. So you can come here more. Oh. Okay. There you go. Sí, ahora sí dolió. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. How many? That's how you're gonna do your push-ups, right? We're yeah. gonna go for a minute here in a second. We're just we're just uh we're just practicing here. Perfect. Okay. How about we do how about we just go ahead and use this box? And all I want you to do today, I mean Jumping can be kind of a scary thing, right? Yeah. So all I want you to do, put one foot up, step up, stand tall, and alternate. Okay? All right. That's how we can scale that. A ver si puedo coordinar los pies y la cabeza y las manos, porque estoy... Yeah. And step down. Alternate legs. With the same leg? Yeah, or alternate, the other? alternate. Go the every other one. Okay. One. Then you go right and then left. Then like step that? Up, then step up with your left. Yeah. And go. go. And then step down. Yeah. All right. And step up with your right. Aye. Yeah, so you're gonna just alternate. Ay, se los dije complices. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's, sí what gonna, that's what we're gonna do for box jumps, okay? For your pull-ups, this is all we're gonna have you do. Soy <laughs> right. so you're gonna come here, okay? Keep the shoulders down mm -hmm. away from your ears. 
pull yourself up. Come back to this full extension. All right. Like this? Yeah. Here we go. Like this, seven passing. Yeah, and then pull yourself up, yeah. So try try to keep some tension so don't go too far. So just come up to, let's come up, so right there, keep in tension, and then come back, yeah. So I like go. these. Yeah, that's kind of fun though, right? Oh, but I, I, I stretch so good. Yeah, feels good, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, finally. All I right. think it's one. Okay. okay, let's see. That's another candle. Um, ah, those deck squats. Do you have the uh, thing behind you? Yes. Okay. Um, Llamado cabucho. No, put the microphone. Can no. we put it on the side? Maybe? Uh -huh. Can we put our microphone on the side? Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, it's impossible. <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> no, it's not good. It's not good for the not microphone. Good, <laughs> All right. Ya ves. So let's give this. Uh, All right. No me salvo ni el micrófono. Not bad, not bad. Go, so, go, yeah, good so job, gotta, good you gotta job. try to reach it forward. Hey. You might try to get it a little bit. A little heavier. A little he yeah, maybe a little something heavier, like a 15. All right. So let's see. So you're just gonna sit back, right? Okay. And just kind of roll to your shoulders. And then as you come up, try to speed up and get your feet flat on the ground and let's see what happens, right? We can try Wanna, it on, wanna, try it on this wanna. <laughs> Like right, that? So you got you got you got to kind of start from a standing position, right? So let's go ahead and stand up. Oh. So I want you to start from that standing position, roll back, uh -huh. right, and then throw your legs forward and try and plant your feet if you can. Okay, like right? that. Yeah, and then come out and then come fast. Ow! Oh. Uh, see, you're good. You're actually good and mobile. Yeah, I have yeah. a little low play. Ooh. You okay? No, but all right. All right, so. that is good. Pero yo tengo un problema en la, en la espalda baja. Se llama flojera, ¿no es cierto? So see how your feet are together. I want your, when you come up, I want your feet a little wider. Okay. Right? So, so I don't want you to come up this way. I want okay. you to come up with your feet wider, okay? That help you? It'll help you have a wider base. Okay. Right? Cool. One, two. Roll. Right. that? Yes, just like that. Okay. All right. Hey. And then, when's the last time you jump rope? Oh. Has it been a while? Yeah. And these, what do I need yeah. to do here? So put it, put it, put your foot in there, uh -huh. yeah. and then bring it up. Yeah, that's probably about right. Let's and do this. Actually, I'm gonna try to make this a little bit better. Now, now, let me see, let me see if you can jump rope. Has it been like a long time since you jumped rope? Woo! <laughs> Alright, so when I was this. 15. Alright, let me see this. Like that? So that's probably what? Last year? When you were 15? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like okay. this? Yeah, now? so grab it, grab it in each hand. Uh-huh. And let's see if you can do it. <laughs> Start with it behind you. Behind me. Okay. Yeah. Now now throw it forward and drag it through. Jump. Alright, one, two. <laughs> Ready? Go. That'll work. That'll work. Perfect. Okay. Alright. So, si algo bien. Let's go find a space out here. All right. Let's see. No. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Okay. Sir, I'll, you I'll first, and I, and I follow and you. Everybody needs to see 50 of them, right? You need to see 50 of them, like demonstrated. So you can come down here. I cannot do it. Oh, goodness. No, I cannot do it. Yes, you can. One. Yes, I can. Like these. Like this? Yeah, you go all the way down. Yeah, all the way down. Here? No! Yeah, 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 go all the way down to the ground. Don't worry. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay, now put your hands out. And okay. then jump your jump your feet up. All right, do this. Oh, sheesh. No, I can do it. You can do it. Yeah, from there. Jump, from, jump up. Yeah. All right, we'll work on that. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. All right. You kidding so. me? A table. All right. I work out. Each, every day. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're doing, right? I need cross One feet. minute at each station. Eight minutes, then there's a three-minute rest, and then we're going to do it all again. Okay? You are going to have one number at the end, total number of reps. Okay? Questions? Where is the exit? <laughs> Nobody want, you're going to do the end 20? I was going to, but I feel like...
There's a 16 in there, you know. I don't think I'll be able to get it. Confidence, I want to go. You can do tacos. it. It's a good one to do it. I have to win on Sunday. In 18 months, look at everything that's happened in her life. So you do less. I know. Okay. But you'll feel more accomplished. Vamos. Acción. Decisión, cómplices. Año ah. nuevo. Vida nueva. Espalda nueva. Adriana en complicidad. Tantos compromisos que tenemos en esta época. Uy, que si la fiesta navideña, que si la cena con la comadre y el compadre. Pues, cómplice, póngase bonita. Oiga, no llegue toda greñuda, porque hay que ponerse lista para estas fiestas. Y además, si usted va a viajar, hay que quintarse esas canas, hay que ponerse esos rayitos, el color de, de que está de temporada y cuidarse y mantener su cabello sano. Para esto, yo te recomiendo que vayas con Areli Fonseca. Areli Fonseca es una especialista. Inclusive, yo le puedo decir que Areli es la que nos mete mano aquí a todos. Uh, sí, 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 nos corta el cabello, nos, nos pone, nos peina y no solamente a mujeres, también a los chicos. ¿No vieron a Domingo con su nuevo corte? Ah, y a Eri estrenando orejas o a Jesucito también luciendo todo GQ. Bueno, eso es gracias a Cosmopolitan Hair and Beauty Salón por Areli Fonseca. Así que ponte en manos de Areli Fonseca de Cosmopolitan Hair and Beauty Salón y lúcete con tu super peinado de super gala para lucir bien Cosmopolita. Cómplices, les tengo que confesar algo, una de las cosas más difíciles de trabajar en la televisión no son las luces, no es la cámara, sino el cómo nos vamos a ver cada semana para ustedes. Y al final hemos encontrado nuestra mejor alternativa, Ícaro Boutique Stuff for Men. Nuestro amigo Paco Castro nos tiene las mejores camisas cada semana, los mejores pantalones, cuenta con estampados de moda y una gran variedad de tallas, tamaños, colores, todo lo que usted guste para caballeros solamente, Ícaro Boutique. Así que vámonos a Plaza Paseo en Pasadina, donde entrando usted va a descubrir cuál es la tienda de Ícaro, porque lo va a identificar por toda la originalidad en su ropa. Así que dése una vuelta, si gusta regalarle algo a su esposo, querida cómplice, o usted mi cómplice, si quiere lucir bien, pues cada fin de semana por ahí que nos vamos de paseo, pues váyase y échense una vuelta a Ícaro, ahí en Plaza Paseo en Pasadina. Aquí les dejamos toda la información y nos estamos viendo ahí en Ícaro, Plaza Paseo. Starts with air squats. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Hi, girl. All right. So, try and keep kind of a pace, right? We don't want you to be super sore tomorrow. All okay. right. Take breaks as you need to, right? I mean, it's a long time. All right. Stand tall, Brandon. Stand tall. All right, good work, guys. Keep those chests up, eyes up. All right, 15 seconds. Good, keep it up, keep it up. 10 seconds. All right, three, two, one, push-ups. Oh, boy, Chris, keep it up. There you go. Make sure you breathe, all right? Breathing's important. Studies have shown.
Ten seconds. Out girl. Here we go. Three, two, one. Box jump. Good. Now alternate. Good. Out girl. Good. Make sure you switch legs too. All right. There you go. Good work, guys. Jump up, stand tall. Make sure you step down. How we doing? Good. Still surviving? Still living? <laughs> Good. We'll be all right. All right, five seconds. Three, two, one. Pull ups, your version. All right, so we're going to go to these rings, right? Remember, pull yourself out. Oh, yeah. Kind of the opposite of the push up. <sighs> How are feeling? How are your arm feeling? Good, good. Good. All right, that a girl. Good. Keep a good solid plank. Keep your body like a board. There you go. That a girl. Come on, Brandon. Push away. Push away at the top. Three, two, one, deck squat. Oh, was yeah. it? Yes. Yeah. There you go. Roll back. Speed up. Come up. <sighs> yeah, try and keep your feet a little spread out. <sighs> okay. Thanks. X line. Yes. There you go. Get a little fuller squat if you can. Hi, girl. Good. Go ahead and spread your feet out just a little bit. Spread your feet up. Yeah. Spread your feet apart from each other. Yeah. Go a little, yeah, a little wider. A little, yeah, there you go. Hi, girl. There you go. Good. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, burpees. <laughs> okay, Rob, go yep. astray. Come on. I need you to show me you're stronger. One, uh. two, yes. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, twenty-eleven, twenty-twelve, twenty-thirteen, twenty-fourteen, twenty-fifteen, twenty-sixteen, twenty-seventeen, Hey guys, we need to do it, but we need to be consistent. Is remember, it's not the first day you will do the complete routine. You know, mm -hmm. it will take you like a six weeks, you say? Well, six weeks to kind of start to see some things happening. Um, you know, consistency. The more consistent somebody is, the better they're gonna better results they're gonna get. Um, there's also kind of fixing some things with nutrition. You know, if say you drink a lot of sodas, you know, maybe that's the first thing you do. Cut out the sodas. If you're drinking two or three of those a day, cut one out a okay, day. Okay, no sodas, no sweets. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the best, but it's, for some people, they might, that might be a little rough thing, like if sugar's your thing, right? So mm -hmm. pick one thing, cut it out for a couple of weeks, and then maybe add it, then take another thing out. Okay. So like, let's say you're, let's say you're drinking two sodas a day. First couple of weeks, take one soda out, right? Oh. And then the next couple of weeks, go down to water. How about Cheetos? Cheetos? Yeah, <laughs> have Cheetos? Uh, I'm not sure Cheetos no. are real food. I don't think that's real food. <laughs> I'm kidding you. I'm kidding you. Well, nutrition is important. Uh -huh. How important is it? Some people say it's the 99% of nutrition. I, I think it's pretty close to that. 80 to 90. Really? Yeah, 89% of it. It's, uh, um, I mean, there's a lot of things with it, right? It, keeps you healthy it also keeps you lean the we we move yes to burn calories but also to just um be stronger move better get through life better and tell me something uh close with this how long is it the class it's about an hour an um, hour it's an hour well, it's, it's an hour we are, we do have a, a new program now that's a half hour so we have a eight uh we have an 8 30 class it's kind of a quick fit type of thing 
we're hoping to add a, a, a little bit more to the schedule for that. Um, so you get in, do a little bit of warm up, a little bit of mobility, get right into a workout, and, and then out in out in a half hour. Where in our hour long classes, there's a little bit more instruction and uh, teaching and coaching uh, to help you get better at the techniques, and, and we do a little bit more higher skill level stuff in that. And so with the quick fit, it's a little lower skill and just kind of get you moving. Do you recommend they, uh, for people like only uh, have protein shakes, protein bars? Um, because sometimes, that, you know, when you go to the gym, they, they want to muscles and they start to have too many kind of dust, I can uh -huh. say that. But is really healthy? Um, I like real food. Um, you more, like yeah. real food? Real food, yeah. Okay. So um, I think, you know, proteins, carbohydrates, fats, you need all of them. I also think you need a wide variety of vegetables, especially because uh, there's micronutrients that are involved, that, like your vitamins, uh, vitamins and minerals, and those things uh, it helps your body move better. So it's like if you had a if you had a Ferrari, you wouldn't put really crappy fuel in it, right? If you wanted to keep keep moving better, right? If you wanted to, if you want that to drive like the high performance machine it is, then you need to give it the proper fuel. And the proper food is the natural food. Yep. But real food. Real food. Uh -huh. Thank you. And, uh, and and also, it's like a, how many times uh, you need to eat? Three. Like a five? Um, you know, that really depends on the person. I think three to four three is, to four. is okay. actually fine. Um, you know, that, that way you're getting a feeding about every three hours or so. So some people get a, probably a little... A little crazy with it and go six to eight meals or something like that. That's um, that's an awful lot to keep track of for some people. Yeah. I think three to four meals. I, I like simple. I like to try and make it simple for people. So three to four. Make sure you have a good protein. That's if you're a guy, it's the size of two hands, basically the palm of it. If you're a, a, a lady, it's one palm. And for your vegetables. Just cover your plate with vegetables. And in the morning for people, like, uh, we don't like to eat. I don't like to have breakfast. I love to have coffee. I, there's nothing wrong with coffee, but I think I think you should. But I need to do something. Yeah, you yes. should. Mm -hmm. Like, like, like what? what? Um, no eggs. Oh, no. Oh. Eggs are good. Eggs are good. Eggs are fine. I mean, the thing is a lot of people sometimes think that there has to be, like, breakfast food and dinner food and lunch food. It's really just food. So, you know, if it's if you have some leftover steak or leftover chicken from the night before, you could have that for breakfast. So it doesn't have to be breakfast food. I like him. I like him. <laughs> you understand me very well. Yeah, because I'm like, I know only, only all meals. And 30 minutes, I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, yeah, that is a good device. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sure. Thank you for your time. Thank mm -hmm. you for offering your team for us. Sure. And, and really try, guys. You need to try. And he already told us about the benefits, but I want to uh, recap a little bit mm -hmm. why, why uh, CrossFit is, uh, is a good exercise for mm -hmm. everybody. Because you can see ladies like, hey, come on, all, can, all different age, mm -hmm. they are here training. Mm -hmm. And they are working more hard than me. And I saw <laughs> one, it's like us. 60, 17 years old, mm -hmm. and she looks amazing. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess what I, what I love about CrossFit is that it's functional movement. Um, we also increase the intensity. A lot of people kind of stay at one intensity the whole time they ever work out. Uh, we like to increase that intensity and kind of um, push people past their comfort zone a little bit and uh, help them to get to go, go a little bit further because people can get very comfortable um and comfort your body likes to be pushed a little bit and so we need to push it press to progress kind of thing right so if you stress it you'll progress if you stay the same then it's just the same stress and your body knows how to deal with that so we just kind of upset the balance a little bit well thank you so much sure. and see you next time Gracias por por sorpresa mi conferencia muchísimas gracias a nombre de todos los que somos posiblemente en el show gracias por sintonizarnos y domingo